Hi, my name is Tommy and welcome to my shop. Today we're going to see a video on how I built this black walnut dovetail tool chest out of only four lengths of eight feet long, six by one inch thick uh, black walnut hardwood. Um, I was able to purchase the material, the wood I needed for uh, this project for under $300. That includes the outer shell, which is all the hardwood, and the plywood inside to do the the separators inside. Uh, a note here, uh, I used reclaimed hardwood for the slides and, and the drawers, so I actually didn't have, actually have to purchase that. Uh, the whole project is joinery, so there's dovetails all around, no fasteners, so there's no nails, no screws, the only screws are for the, the, the hinges and the handles, so there's dovetails all around. All those panels are uh, tongued and grooved, so uh, You'll see that in the video coming up. And uh, if somebody would go around and make this project their own uh, with a different hardwood, let's say like maple or oak, the board foot being way cheaper would probably be able to assemble this whole uh, unit for under $200. Uh, so uh, I made a PDF file to go along with it. So if you just want to look at the drawings while you're watching the video, you're welcome to download the link right here. Uh, and if you want to be more adventurous and, and try to make this project by yourself, uh, following the drawings, you'll find that the PDF file has all the measurements and all the, the layouts and drawings you need to complete this by yourself. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you at the end. So, first, first thing for this project was to get the, the wood I needed. I already had like a little schematic that I made myself to know how much wood I was going to need. So I went to my wood supplier and I got some black walnut, uh, four pieces at, uh, all together. They were uh, marked as uh, eight foot long, one by six. And after the, the dressing, they end up being like five and a half by three quarter. Um, so uh, with black walnut, uh, there's a lot of, uh, of difference in color and I want to utilize that because I want to have a natural finish on my box. Most of the walnut uh, finishes are very dark and they would actually uh, hit, hide the, the difference here between the softwood and the hardwood. So uh, that's the first thing I want to do I want, and I want to create some, some symmetry as well because of that. So <clears throat> my, my first um, board is going to be my sides and two pieces on my back. So I, I went from the center out and I, I, I did my center piece here, uh, my center mark. Then from there, I'm gonna be able to lay, lay out all my uh, other pieces. Then the second board, second board's got uh, the front piece and uh, some of the top pieces as well. So here we can see there's a bit of a continuity with the, with the lighter green color that I'm gonna be able to use uh, at the front for uh, for some of the pieces. And then uh, this third piece got the back on it and the pieces, uh, the smaller pieces for the sides. And so uh, let's go on the, the saw and let's start cutting those pieces. So I just finished cutting all my pieces, so here I've got my uh, top pieces, it's going to go like such, with my center piece here, that's going to be tongue and groove, and I've got two sets of sides, same idea, a center piece with tongue and groove, and this was, is going to be the top piece that's going to go on top of the assembly. So two sets of those, now I've got the back, so four, five pieces for the back with the top piece as well, which is one of those. And then I've got the front piece as well to, uh, to do the top front. So now that I have all of those cut to light, it's time to put my uh, grooves and my tongues in all my other pieces. So on my router table here, I 
I finished doing all the the grooves in all my parts that I had to to do and then before I get onto the the tongue part I made a test piece this is a piece of crop that was left over same material as this one and then I can actually make sure that my settings are working so this piece fits nicely so now I can proceed to uh, do all the the other components So I've got both of my tongues and grooves all milled up uh, for uh, the back and sides and, and the top. So this, this is the top. I already started to put that uh, um, centerpiece in. Just wanted to make sure that everything was going to line up properly. And then you ju I just have to pound it in a bit. Just make sure that uh, it's going to go in. It seems, it seems like a everything doing very well there's still a bit of a gap that's gonna disappear with the, with the bar, bar clamps so uh, I'm gonna take that out now and uh, I'm gonna uh, put some glue and uh, glue it up so after uh, fitting a few of them so I've got the, the outside panels the side panels I should say made up uh, I realized that uh, some of the grooves are a bit tight so what i do is uh, i take a card scraper and i'm just working the the tongue about three times on each side and that's gonna allow for uh, a nicer fit so i've got the back all glued up i also did the the, the tongue on it and the groove was done in the other piece yesterday so now it's time to glue up this section with the other one so what I do is uh, <clears throat> just put a little bead of glue in there like so same time we want to try to uh, line it up and with the sides it in clamps you get your squeeze out straight away as well. There's a lot of glue that's going to come out of that joint. <clears throat> I'm going to add a few more clamps.
joint here, make sure there's no gaps. Screws coming out. Then I'm going to move that first one over. Just like that. And then we're going to let it dry. Now, I took the liberty of uh, putting those ones on already. So those are going to be the sides. And that's the symmetry I was talking about earlier in the video. So those being the sides, they're going to have a symmetrical appeal to them. Um, there's a, a bit of a, a ridge here. Uh, maybe, a, I don't know, like a, a six, not even a 64th. But now would be a good time to uh, get rid of that. So if you do have a card scraper, it's a good way to go. Or uh, I've got myself. I've got a a scraper plane, so I'm going to be using that. So I, I just sanded the top, uh, I got rid of all the ridges with uh, the scraper and then uh, I'm sanding everything flush, the reason being that uh, with dovetails, uh, if you change your thickness after the dovetails are uh, made up, uh, that might actually affect your fit. So uh, I'm going to do a rough sanding on all the parts and then that's both sides and then uh, I'll be able to start laying out the dovetails. So this one's done. First side. So now that all the sanding is done, uh, we have to make sure all our parts are square. So the square, you line up the corners all around just to make sure that everything is square. And then after that, Take a tape measure and you're going to cross square them. So this one is 23 and 3 eighths. And 23 and 3 eighths as well. Then same on this one, which is the other side. So we should have the same measurement. So 23 and 3 eighths. And 23 and 3 eighths right there. So those two sections are good. I already checked the back. And uh, now like the other thing we want to make sure is our length are the same. So this one is actually, this side is actually a bit longer than the back. I would say by about a 16 for this one. And the other one, make flush, just with your fingers at the back and bottom here. And this one's about a 16 as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the saw at the back there for uh, the back piece first and I'm gonna just uh, like lightly trim the bottom and then I'm gonna do the uh, I'm not gonna change the setting I'm gonna run the two sides uh, right after so that way I know for sure that my height would be uh, will be identical all around 